Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. If x is greater than 0, then the limit as n approaches infinity of the n-third of x is equal to 1. Now in proving this theorem, we are going to use the exponential function and real number exponents. We know that the n-third of x is equal to x to the 1 over n, which is equal to e to the 1 over n natural log of x. So really, to show that the limit of n through of x is equal to 1, this is the same thing as showing the limit of e to the 1 over n natural log of x is equal to 1. Now we know that the exponential function is continuous. And so in regards to continuity, we are going to be using the sequential criterion for continuity in our proof. And the sequential criterion for continuity states the following. Suppose A is a subset of real numbers, F is a function from A to the real numbers, and C is an element of A. Then the following are equivalent. 1. F is continuous at C. 2 for every sequence xn in A. If xn converges to C, then f of xn converges to f of C. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. Now the first thing to note is that the sequence 1 over n times natural log of x converges to 0. And now, since the exponential function is continuous, we are going to apply the sequential criterion to the exponential function. Now remember, the domain of the exponential function is the set of all real numbers. So we're going to take a to be the set of real numbers, we'll take f to be the exponential function, and we're going to take c to be 0. With these choices, what do statements 1 and 2 become? They become the following. Statement 1 becomes the exponential function is continuous at 0. Statement 2 becomes for every sequence of real numbers xn. If xn converges to 0, then e to the xn converges to e to the 0. Now we know that the exponential function is continuous everywhere. So in particular, the exponential function is continuous at 0. So statement 1 is true. But since these two statements are equivalent, that implies that statement 2 is true, and so because statement 2 is true, well, we know that this statement works for every sequence of real numbers. So in particular, it must work for the sequence 1 over n natural log of x. And we know that 1 over n natural log of x converges to 0. Therefore, we have that e to the 1 over n natural log of x converges to e to the 0. And e to the 0 is equal to 1. And we know that e to the 1 over n natural log of x is the same thing as the nth root of x. So this must be equal to the limit as n approaches infinity of the nth root of x. And so we have that the limit of nth root of x is equal to 1. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.